I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Why is Theoretical Chemistry Important? All right, so what's theoretical chemistry? Well, it's kind of a way of mixing math and physics and chemistry. And it's basically using the math and physics we know to predict chemistry events. So let's go through three common examples of something a theoretical chemist might do. So first of all, let's take this first guy with two sodium atoms. And now we know that two atoms are gonna have a certain repulsion, right? Because they're both negatively charged on their electron cloud. But just how much that repulsion is could really change some experimental results. So if you use quantum mechanics to predict over a computer, and it's usually thousands and thousands of computers all together in a cluster, because this involves so much math, um, you can actually learn what the energy and what the repulsion would be in between these sodium atoms. And so those results really help us have a fundamental understanding of chemistry and how atoms interact. And so another way that theoretical chemistry is important is by looking at organic reactions. So this is a typical Diels-Alder reaction. But theoretical chemistry can really help us learn what type of substituents will help to make the reaction faster, what will make the reaction have certain stereochemical results, um, and on and on. So instead of going into a lab and running 10,000 different reagents and 10,000 different results and seeing all your stereochemistry and crunching those numbers, you can actually run a computer model that will tell you what your best reaction will be, and then chemists can just go in and run that best reaction right off the bat. Uh, and then lastly, let's look at a kind of new way that theoretical chemistry is being used. And this is actually to predict uh, how protein folding and protein reactions will happen. So if you have your protein here, which is really huge, um, and you have certain reactive pockets, otherwise known as little, you know, places where reactions will happen or the protein will do something, um, you can use computer modeling to figure out which one of these pockets is going to be the best, which one's going to be the most reactive, uh, et cetera. And so this could really, in the future, once this computing power gets even more powerful, be super useful to biologists because proteins and enzymes are so complex that it's really hard to analyze them using traditional chemistry methods. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been How is Theoretical Chemistry Important? Mm -hmm.